What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this new project from Black Moon called Rise of the Moon. Now Black Moon is a trio made up of Buckshot, Five Foot, and DJ Evil D, and they are legends in the game who are coming out of Brooklyn, New York. They've been putting in plenty of work since the 90s, they're very highly respected, and this is actually their first album in 16 years, so I was very curious to see how they would sound in 2019. We're getting close to 2020, shit is a lot different now, and yet they're still doing that same grimy boom bap sound that you would expect from them. If you ask me, I'd say that's actually a good thing as well as a bad thing. A good thing because they're not trying to follow trends and they are catering to their fan base and maybe I wouldn't say it's a bad thing but I would say that there's not really anything overly unique or overly interesting happening with this one you know what I mean I feel like it all is done very well it's put together nicely you're getting great production great flows and vocal styles but it wasn't a project where I was sifting through great lyricism heavy content or anything like that so I'm not taking away from it I'm just saying these are some of the things right out of the gate that kind of held it back a little bit for me but that said, I still appreciate the nostalgic feel. If you're a fan of that classic vintage boom bap hip hop, you're absolutely gonna love this project. And there are some good songs to be found, like the song Creep With Me. This is one where they're staking their claim as legends in the game. You're getting this really nice piano beat as well, so I thought this was a good way to kick the album off. And it's followed up with the hazy boom bap banger to Dawn Flow, which kind of goes with the same sentiment about how good their flows are, how they put in that work and their top spitters. So I really like those tracks. But as I said, you're not gonna get a lot of heavy themes or content content on here, and some of the themes are kind of just run of the mill, you heard it before, not done overly interesting either, like on the money and greed driven track Payback for example, and on Roll With Me where they're just riding and kind of spitting game to girls. These tracks, you know, they're nothing overly new. All rappers do this shit, I'm not saying it's just them, it's not like you can delete this content from hip hop, I wouldn't expect that. I'm just saying as I listened through this album, some of it felt very familiar and formulaic, so I'm just saying a bit more creativity with the topics and songwriting would have gone a long way, but that's not to say that they're spitting bullshit shit all over this album because they're certainly not. I'm just saying a lot of it is that typical, I'm the best MC, we've been in the game where legends respect us, da 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 da, you know how it goes, just a lot of that stuff. But there are moments like on AHA where they are addressing crooked cops with lines like this, it's the power of the melanin that makes them devils want to treat me like a felon, thought that was a great line. And on Black Moon Rise, I like these lines right here. Aggravated at the garbage, same old, same old, can't even pay homage. So, as icons in the game, they clearly have an opinion on the state of hip-hop right now. They're still doing that same type of sound and throwing back to that nostalgic feel, which will certainly feed the hip-hop heads. So, you know, you are always going to get that type of content from artists that have been around for a while. It seems like they always have something to say about the new school, and I do certainly understand that, because things have changed. They certainly aren't paying homage. A lot of these new artists, they don't give a fuck about that. They're all about the money. They are doing some of the same old, same old. So I think these are some pretty fair critiques, man. You can't just say they're being and old heads who are being mad, they're pioneers in the game who are saying how they feel, and I do agree with what they're getting at generally. You're also going to get some grimy shit as you would expect from Black Moon, like on Pop Off, there's all kinds of gun bars, including this one, crush you like an MC with a hammer, you can't touch them, and then on Look At Them, Smith and West enjoying the track, where all of them are speaking about how it's impossible for them to be stopped. Again, just the quality of MCs they are, they're very high caliber, and they've been all about this shit. Certainly can't deny that, and I do gotta say that Smith & Wesson had a great album earlier this year called The All. I do actually like that one a little bit more than this, I think the production stuck out to me a bit more because it was all from Ninth Wonder. You also had some content that got a little bit deeper as well, not to pit these two projects together, but just while I'm on the topic and bringing up Smith & Wesson, I wanted to point that out. So, these are some of the moments I liked on here. I also thought Method Man sounded great on Ease Back. This has some lullaby bells on the production, a very slinky beat that he fits perfectly, so I liked how he was flowing on that one. But yeah, man, I'm just overall impressed with how these MCs from the 90s are still making quality music like almost 30 years later, man. They've been in the shit for a long time. This is still a project that their fans are going to love, hip-hop heads are going to love. I'm going to go with a 3.5 out of 5 because I did enjoy it overall. It's just as I was listening through the album, it did get a little bit familiar, formulaic, typical boom bap stuff. I would certainly understand if someone didn't like this project for that reason. They might say it's not anything new. They want a little bit more because those were kind of some of my gripes with it. But overall, man, I think they put this shit together well. They're legends. They're pioneers. You can't ever take that away from Black Moon. So check this one out for yourself and then hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you really like the storytelling and stuff like that on here? You know, you are getting a little bit of street narrative once in a while. I just didn't think it was too heavy. Uh, you know how I am, man. I'm very picky. Sometimes with this type of project, I really just want more when it comes to that type of stuff. But hey, you guys will let me know in the comment section. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.